Come on, people. Spring has literally just begun. We don't need to be doing this. Throw your crap away, man. Come on. Show you how hard this is. Come on. Hello, hello. I'm sorry, I had to get that intro in there. It just drives me nuts when people leave their trash along the water. Moving on, this will be my last pre-trip summary before I go. I am just five days away and can't wait to go. There are a couple of things I wanted to talk about before I leave, including an update on the flooding and some changes I have made to try to cope with the weather we've been having. First, the flooding. Not much has changed. We continue to smash records on the river levels, rainfall amounts, cool weather, all the wrong things for a trip like this. I am still planning on leaving June 1st, and that has not changed. I will now be bringing rain pants and additional warm clothes for sleeping because it is still getting down into the low 40s at night. A big change will be the kayaks. At this time, I am thinking that I will be abandoning my three-boat idea and stick into a single kayak, my 14-foot whistler. The headwaters are still in a high-water state, and it should be easier for me to get through the beginning with little effort. <laughs> this was a big moment. I, I never catch fish on this lake, and this was the first northern I have ever caught out here. I wasn't expecting it. It was a nice surprise. Oh, oh wait. Oh, I usually catch fish in this lake. I have communicated with several people about the risks of the higher water, as well as tips they may have for dealing with the flooding. I feel confident that it is still possible to achieve my goals. It will just require my constant attention to ensure I am safe. Although a lot of flooding is south of Minnesota, we are still dealing with it here. Same as months ago, water levels are running twice or more their normal flow rate for this time of year. The first locks on the river are being opened and closed to recreational traffic every other week it seems so I may be making portages that take me miles on foot just to go around them. There are still other paddlers out there on the river. Some of them have been out there for a couple weeks, others will be starting around the same time I am, so I won't be alone. And that's pretty much it. One week from today I will have already been on the river for two days and on my way. I hope to be able to get some live streams in as I make my way. Hopefully you'll be able to catch those. It will be a while before I can post again as I won't have the ability to upload videos from the river but I will get content out as often as I can. So being Memorial Day weekend, there was a ton of boats out on the water today. I was constantly looking around to make sure no boats were speeding towards me. As I turned around, I was surprised to see a plane landing on the water. Definitely not a normal occurrence around here. Damn plane just landed on the water. Too cool. Well, that pretty much does it for this video. I didn't have a lot to add, aside from the final update and a farewell. I'll give updates as I can, so please check back. Take care and we'll see you soon.